supernatural, you know, um, before season four, it never really delved into angels or God or anything like that. It always stayed with the, the, um, the darker aspects. And even still, everything was very unclear about religion. And now it's delved into a higher power, which could have gone two very different ways. But I, you know, it's gone such a good way. How do you feel being, you know, that um, component, that element of something that could mean God? You know, it's like such a big thing for Supernatural. Do you feel, you know, like really cool about it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I think that they. It's, it does sound like sort of tricky territory, you know, and it's the kind of thing where, you know, we're a Christian country, you don't really want to touch God in the wrong way. <laughs> I wish there was a rewind button. But, um, I think they've dealt with it actually in a really interesting way, and, and frankly, I think that some of it is, um, it's, it's, it's pretty intelligent, and I think that some of the issues that, especially in, in the episodes that haven't aired yet, it's going to kind of get into <coughs> questions of like blind faith, and um, and and it's without you know I, I think offending anyone too terribly much, it's going to sort of get into like the question of whether whether you're actually answering to a higher power as a religious person, or if you're just you know towing the party line and doing what you're told and not really thinking about it. And, um, and so I think it's actually interesting, and, and, and I'm, I'm happy to be a part of that kind of discussion. Great, thank you so much. So, hello. Hi. Um, I was wondering, you know, obviously Supernatural, a huge, most of Supernatural is about this, this, you know, find the bad guys and this crazy, like, oh my gosh, ghosts, and oh my gosh, I'm silly with this plan. You know, it's, it's really it's scary. <laughs> You know, and then um, that horror aspect of this thing we all really adore. I was wondering, what personally scares you? Um, other than Supernatural? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm actually a total wuss when it comes to scary movies. Um, I just can't... I, I, you know what, it's... it's. I mean, I'm, I don't actually get that, that scared that easily. Like, there have been a couple of times in my life when I thought I was going to be killed, and that was kind of scary. <laughs> but for the most part, I, you know, I, I had a pretty unconventional childhood and uh, did, saw a lot of different stuff and did a lot of um, kind of unusual things. So I've, most sort of situations don't scare me. But the problem is I have a problem when I watch movies that I can't suspend. I, 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 I can't, I don't know what the word I'm trying to say. Suspend reality? Yeah, no, but that's not right because I, um, <laughs> I do suspend it. <laughs> I suspend it too much. So I, I watch and then I forget that I'm watching a movie and I get really scared and I can't separate myself out enough in order to, you know, not get terrified. Um, so I have a hard time watching uh, scary movies and I avoid them. <laughs> yeah. Alright. And uh, what is the ringtone on your cell phone right now? You have to know that one's coming. It's iPhone default. <laughs> <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, a good start. <laughs> I was wondering if you will do the famous Castile to Dean line, you should show me some respect. Man. I think it's, uh, man. <laughs> I'm not going to do it justice, and then I'm, I'm, I'm just going to disappoint everyone, including myself. So, oh. Um, um, <laughs> come on, people, I already read you a poem. <laughs> you don't even say anything. Oh, look at me like <laughs>
anesthesia. Yeah. And some taking going on. Yeah. And some talking. And yeah. I was wondering, how were you able to keep a straight face? I wasn't. In, I was. I was wondering whether you were going to get to that. I was wondering whether you had seen that I was laughing. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. I mean, I'm not, I didn't have a single line. I'm just supposed to be lying there and being unconscious. And I was, I was, they had to do retakes because of me. It was so embarrassing. But um, it, was a, it was a really funny scene because a lot of that scene wasn't scripted the way it came out at all. So a lot of it was just improvised and caught me by surprise and I kept on laughing. So eventually, actually, they had this shot that they framed with me in it and the other characters. And they just reframed it. They framed me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and also, what's your favorite type of music or your favorite bands? Um, I like a really a variety. I, I like a lot of different stuff. I mean, um, I like Cole Porter to mm. Beethoven to Yay. Electronica. Um, I like Fanny Pack. Uh, <laughs> I like Santo Gold. I like. <laughs> I don't really have, I, I like, you know, techno dance. I, I'm, 